Musicians, your career, social media, and bank account can either grow exponentially next year and put you in a position to live your dreams, or it can absolutely suck and remain the same or be even worse next year this time than it is now. So in this video, I'm giving you five absolutely vital things that every musician needs to do in 2024 to level these things up. So the world is a much different place than it was just even a year ago this time. The economy has changed. The way that people make money have changed. AI has come in and sort of disrupted everything. And all of these things are going to be shifting even more within the next year. But I want you to be not only prepared for this shift, but for it's too late. I actually want you to thrive in it. And here's how you do it. So to get this first thing that you need to be doing in 2024, you need to understand a couple of things first. And the first one is one that is not talked about very much. And that is the fact that what you do as a musician is valuable. So many outside people will come in and try to tell you that being a musician isn't a real job and it's just something to do on the side. All while musicians and bands and artists are out here literally making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. So you are very important and valuable as a musician. And the other thing is just something that's like really insane. And that is that we live in a world now where because of inflation, the price is increasing on everything from gas to food to just the average cost of living. And this makes the cost of maintaining your skills and talent as a musician even higher. Now, you don't necessarily need to be making like high hundreds of thousands of dollars just to maintain your skills and your talent, but your pay does need to be consistent with the times that we're living in. So no matter what your situation is, you're the music director, you're the bass player, the drummer, guitar player, whatever, the very first thing that you need to do in 2024 is ask for a raise. Now, speaking of the times we're in, one of the things that I find really interesting is that a lot of musicians today are very one dimensional. Like they play or sing one style of music really well, or they play only one instrument and all of that. But in this new world and this new economy that we're in, it's the musicians who have several skills or is versed in multiple things that is held in the highest regard, which means they're the ones who are likely to make the most money and gain the most success overall. And the most successful musicians understand this, so they do things like attend conferences and workshops and they get educated on subjects and new skills and they even like learn new instruments and like the multi skills that you can have don't necessarily need to be directly related to music like you can learn things like sound and tech or even like cameras and all of that so the next thing that you really need to do in 2024 is add to yourself and become more valuable and while we're talking about cameras and tech and all of that one of the sort of insider things that I've been preaching on this channel for the past year or more is for musicians to really get in on this creator economy. It is by far the biggest opportunity right now for musicians, bands, and artists to make lots of money and grow huge fan bases. There are so many musicians out here right now that are like making high six figures by simply creating content on a single platform and building a business around it. While other musicians are just stuck in the times and refuse to grow and they're still struggling and fighting for these cheap $7,500 gigs or playing church gigs or whatever that they have to beg for more money on and all of that. But there's one platform in particular that is by far the best platform for musicians to grow and you know gain this kind of money and gain massive success and i'm going to be releasing a course really really soon that teaches you a step-by-step -step approach to getting started on this platform and making lots of money and gaining a huge following so you want to make sure that you're signed up for my email list which i'll drop a link to in the description below so that you don't miss out on it and so the next thing that you should do in 2024 is start a youtube channel 
And speaking of YouTube, one of the things that helps out a lot here on YouTube is if you hit the like button. So if you're getting value out of this video so far, or if you've gotten value out of any of my videos on this channel, do me a quick favor and hit the like button on this video. I would really appreciate it. Now, did you know that the quality of your music equipment has a direct effect on how successful you become? It's true. It's thought that musicians who have like really crappy, sucky equipment tend to be less successful than those who have much better equipment. And of course, this doesn't apply to all musicians, but I'm sure you've probably seen or played with some of those musicians who have a lot of that crappy equipment, and I'm sure they didn't show up being the best musicians on the gig or the most professional. And it's very rare that you see pro musicians who are serious about their craft and have become successful with like really crappy equipment. Now you don't necessarily need to go out and buy the most expensive equipment out there, but it is really important that you have professional equipment that you are proud of owning and that you're proud to play on gigs with other people because it's going to help you become better. So something that you absolutely have to do this coming year if you want to level up is invest in higher quality equipment. And I'm so glad that we're talking about other people because one of the more shocking things that I've noticed that holds musicians back and keeps them from growing is that they try to be one man shows. And what I mean by that is that they try to do everything to be successful by themselves. So they try to get gigs by themselves. They try to, you know, release music by themselves and all of this kind of stuff. And the problem with this is that in most cases, success is a collaborative effort. You name any artist like, you know, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, they have teams of people around them who contribute to everything from, you know, writing and producing their music to shaping their image as an artist. And it's not like it just happened when they became superstars. Like Beyonce's dad, as a kid, had a team of people around her in Destiny's Child group or whatever the original name of the group was, you know, helping them to become successful. And this is something that has been true since the beginning of time. Even the story of Jesus states that he had a team of disciples around him, which helped him meet his goals. I mean, presidents and prime ministers and other leaders of nations and countries have a team of people around them, usually called a cabinet, that advises them and helps them be successful. And it's the same with even like sports teams and all of that. So it's crucially important that you surround yourself with a team of people that could be made up of your homies or, you know, some new people that y'all can put y'all heads together and share resources so that you can dominate next year. Because one of the most important things that you can do this coming year to be successful is get out of your comfort zone and collaborate with other people. Now, one of the things that I mentioned is starting a YouTube channel. And again, make sure you click the link in the description to join my email list so you get first dibs when that course is released. But just having a YouTube channel in and of itself isn't gonna cut it. You need certain things so that you can make it work for you, otherwise it's pointless. And I explain those things in this video right here. So make sure you click the screen and check it out right now.